Hi kids, this is uh, episode 12 of Stamp Your Stash. We're going to be using this cute little, this little piggy stamp set from Stampin' Up. Um, I've had it for quite a while um, and I really love it. Uh, however, I didn't like the sentiments attached to each pig, so I cut them off. Let me show you how I did that. So, um, initially it was like this and I just cut the sentiment off uh, so I can still use the sentiment. Anyway, let's get into it. It's, this is a fun card that we're going to be making um, today. I want the sentiment on this one. So I'm going to line it up on there, just like that. And I'm going to use stays on ink because that's what I want to use. <laughs> uh, because I'm going to, I'm going to color this and I don't want it to run. Um, I'm going to do some other fun stuff to it too. Oh, I pushed down too hard. Dang it. Okay. No mistakes, remember? Now I just need to not push down so hard this time. There we go. Perfect impression. I shouldn't say that because there's no such thing as perfect. Unless you want to say my smile or my glasses or something's perfect and then I'll take it. <laughs> I'm having a relatively good day. I'm, my back hurts and I'm not feeling the greatest. Um, but I've been able to rest today, which is really important when I'm in pain. Um, so I'm grateful for that. Okay. Um, these, I find on these, um, these, uh, I think they're polymer stamps, um, from Stampin' Up, that when you, you put this, it's a little sticker you put on it, on the stamp itself, that the sticker doesn't stick. So I take, um, Tombow, uh, mono liquid glue, multi, this green glue and I put it all over the back of the stamp and I let it air dry and then it's sticky see sticky sticky and uh, and then I don't have a problem with not being able because it won't cling to um, it won't cling to anything um, oh, let's color this first I'm excited to use glitter so I'm getting that out first, but we want to color this little piggy in. Uh, anyway, I, I found that these kinds of stamps in particular from Stampin' Up don't stick to my block, and um, I wanted them to stick, so I don't remember where I got the tip from. Another stamper on YouTube, um, I don't remember her name. Um, but that's that. It's a great tip. You can feel free to use it. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. I am in a great mood. Um, just life is good. That's smearing a little bit. I didn't let it, I didn't wait long enough for it to dry. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's alright. Isn't that a song? I don't know. I was trying to think earlier today if I had any little piggy stories, like of my kids. 
Um, but I don't really, I don't really, but I, here's what I'm thinking to share with you today. Um, and I don't know why little piggies brought it to my mind, but when my oldest son, Jeffrey, was little, 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 um, for Halloween, I would let him pick his Halloween costume and he would come up with the wildest uh, things. Um, for instance, one year he wanted to be a grandfather clock. Uh, another year he wanted to be a penny. Um, and I, of course, would make the, the rest of the family... Like, the year he wanted to be a grandfather clock, his little brother was a baby. And um, so I dressed up like a mouse, and I dressed my baby up like a mouse, and we were the, the hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. Uh, which was really pretty fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, he, he did some fun and we used to oh, I did the wrong color I needed to dark not medium it's okay we'll just go back over it with the dark um, we used to do theme costumes and um, my second son Zach wouldn't want to he would want every year to be Spider-Man. So we would, one year we went as Peter Pan characters and Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Even the dog that year dressed up, we dressed the dog up as Schmied. Uh, but uh, yeah, Peter Pan characters and Spider-Man. He wanted to be Spider-Man for, Zach wanted to be Spider-Man for like three or four years in a row for Halloween. And we just let him, you know, that's what you want to be. And then again, as a teenager, he, he wanted Spider-Man, I think as a teenager, a teenager, a young, young teen, like 12, he wanted Spider-Man. One year, he, so he loves the band. Slipknot, and um, and I love to do gore makeup. Uh, I I really like gore makeup. is so much fun. I really enjoy doing gore makeup. So one year he wanted to go as one of the characters of Slipknot, one of the band members of Slipknot. And Slipknot they wear masks. And one of this one of these guys' mask in particular has zippers for lips. Okay, I'm just going to put dirt, glitter dirt on this pig, and I'm just going to make blobs on it with glue, and then fill it in with glitter. Um, so he was going to a church dance, and I did this face mask looking makeup. It was, his face was painted white with some black accents and zippers on his lips. And I covered his whole face in um, liquid latex so it would look like a mask. Because um, the at this dance, the masks were not allowed. <laughs> well, he got there and they told him that it was too scary, which there was nothing scary about it. Zippers on your lips were too much, they said. They said the zippers on his lips were too scary. And they made him take the zippers off his lips or they wouldn't let him go in. See how cute that is? My little muddy pig. I made one previously so that we didn't have to wait for it to dry. 
um, all night. So I have I have this one here that's very similar that I made. It's sparkly little pig. Um, yeah, I was I was mad. They called me down to the church to um, pick him up, and I got down there and I was like, "What's going on?" And they said, "His his." his makeup is too scary and I'm like what's scary about it like give me a break no it's too scary he can't go in with the zippers on his lip so we took him off and he went into the dance and had a good time but you know people relax relax a little bit okay I have this pink up pink piece of pink paper that I am going to put pigs all over. I'm going to use this stamping tool. I got this on Amazon, I think. I'll link, I'll link below, um, but it just makes it so much easier. Makes it so much easier to um, push down on these little guys. Um, clean the stamps off, and let's. My fingers are sticking to the little piggy. I'm focused, so I'm not talking. That makes for riveting content, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. This stamp positioner is great. Um, it's such a good, helpful tool because I can do that. I can lay out the stamps where I want them and then close the lid. And then they go right back where I want them as long as my paper doesn't move. And usually I put these magnets down, but since I'm going all the way to the edge, I, I didn't. I guess I could have put the magnets here, but I didn't think of that soon enough. Oh, look at that cute little piggy paper. So fun. I love this stamp set, and uh, I'll be honest with you, I had to get some inspiration off Pinterest. Um, I'm not feeling terribly inspired these days. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think it's because I'm in pain. Um, I'm not sure. But. Uh, having a little bit of a tough time. But that's okay. We uh, I'm living for it. My life is good. Okay. I'm going to take this pink paper. Take this pink paper. I've got some that glitter all over the place. Hold on just a second. Let me wipe the glitter down. I can't see it very well, but I put my paper down and then I pick it up and there's glitter on everything. The joy of using glitter. Okay. We're gonna take this.
pink paper. One of these days I'll show you how to refill this ATG gun when it when it gets empty. I'll make a video on how to refill it because uh, I have to think about it every time I do it. It's really kind of tricky. Uh, ta, ta da da! And then I've got this brown ribbon. Uh, I think I got this at Michael's. There's no marking on it except all Ameri American Crafts Element Premium Ribbon. Um, but I think it, I think it might have come in a set or something. I'm not sure. I am not sure. But I'm just gonna wrap it around like this and give myself a little more of a tail so that I have enough to tie a bow and I'm going to tie a bow kind of off center a little bit off center My brain is not functioning, and I may not be able to tie this bow very well. It's not very often that I, that I actually, I'll see this tail is not long enough. Just adjust. It's not very often that I actually wrap a ribbon around and tie it. Usually I glue ribbon down and tie a bow um, around the ribbon that's glued down, if that makes much sense. It's much easier to get your bow facing the direction you want it to when you do it that way. And you don't have to worry about if you've cut the tails too short or not. I'm going to just fight with this bow for a second. <laughs> I am really struggling with this bow. That is so funny. Uh, I'm not cutting it, don't worry. I'm just I couldn't get my fingers in there to loosen the bow. That is a sad, sad little bow. The bow I did earlier today was much better on the sample I did. This is the second time I've made this card. Um, I, if, for, if you guys don't know, um, when I make cards for you, I, uh, I always make a sample. Um, and the reason I make a sample is so that I can do a little prep work like um, putting glitter on a pig and making sure it's dry before I make the video so that we're not waiting for glitter to dry. That's going to have to do. It's not perfect, but it'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Have you seen that movie, Babe? Babe, Pig in the City? That'll do, pig. That'll do. It's a cute movie. There's actually a couple of Babe movies. Um... And the farmer always says, that'll do pig, that'll do pig, to the pig, who is babe. It's a cute, cute series. I have it on VHS. <laughs> uh, yes, I have a VHS player. Okay. Ta-da. Now what's next? 
we're going to take this pig, this cute little pig, and we're going to glue them willy-nilly to this brown piece of paper. Just I like to use lots of adhesive because I don't like my cards to fall apart. Um, I'm always, I always have this fear that my cards are going to fall apart in the mail. Especially the ones I do with big old flowers. And then I'm just going to, see I have these scissors, they're stamping up. Um, they're just scallop scissors. They're a hundred years old. Um, and I'm just going to cut right along the edge of my little pig cut out I'm not going to worry about if the corners line up I'm just going to cut him out oh, oh my the perfectionist in people is freaking out that I'm not worrying about the corners, but I'm not worrying about the corners because it's too stressful for me. These are a little bit tricky to use sometimes. See, we have a cute little edge on our pig. Um, they make um, dyes that are scalloped like this, but I don't have any uh, square scalloped dyes. So I gotta use what I got. And I'm gonna take my sticky scissors and some foam tape that's something I need to put in the description. It's the foam tape. I have neglected to do that in my last few videos, I think. It's a lot of work making these descriptions with links in them so that you guys can shop from supplies without having to search everywhere. That's not a complaint. It's just an observation. Okay got my swamp cooler on so little bits and pieces I don't know if you noticed the glitter was blowing around um, but and then I'm just gonna square this little guy up see how cute that is Super, super stinking cute. Here's the one I made earlier. Hogs and kisses. Here they are side by side. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was fun to make. I love talking about my kids and their crazy antics. I hope you enjoy it too. Oh, I want to. I want to do something else to this card. It says this little piggy. And I want to put this Loves You stamp. And I'm going to do it in the same color pink that I did. I could do it in black, but I want to do it in the pink. And I'm just going to do it in this corner right here. This little piggy loves you. <laughs> so cute okay now I'm done with the card thank you so much for watching uh, if you haven't done so yet hit that subscribe button um, thanks for coming thanks for being here I sure enjoy our time together um, if there's anything specific you'd like to see um, let me know uh, I, uh, otherwise we'll just keep doing the stamp your stash we're at number 12 I have over, I can't remember, 170 stamps. Is that what we decided? 
I know I counted and I've lost track of what I counted. So anyway, uh, much love to you all. Uh, have a great uh, rest of your day. Bye.